Hello, people of the internet. So I'm just making this video because recently I stumbled across a video of me from almost 10 years ago describing this elaborate bucket list that I had made. And it was really eye-opening to see because I realized I've done almost all of the things on there now. And also some of it was pretty hilarious. So this is kind of a response video of that video, of that list I had made. I found a few other things on an old, old Tumblr of mine. First of all, I want to go over like why I made the list and kind of the history and the backstory of it. I did it when I was about 19 years old, about 10 years ago. I was really, really depressed. I had just gotten off medications and I was kind of sinking but trying to make my life a little better. I made this list kind of as a way to find some more joy in life and a lot of them were very simple. I didn't have a lot of like big life plans on there though there are a few. And it kind of became a phenomenon over the next few years. My friends started helping me do things with it. I did things with it a lot. My friends made lists of their own. But I kind of forgot about the list for a while. Life started moving pretty quickly when I was in my early 20s because that's kind of what life does to you. Yeah, so this is a video kind of about that and about where I am now, so let's get into it. Also, I will be drinking a wine. So, let's see. My bucket list. List of things I want to do before I die. Number one, fall in love and be loved in return. Because let's just dive straight into that. Yeah. Um, I did this one. Yep. I guess all I can say about that is been there, done that. <laughs> let's drink more wine about it. <laughs> oh, baby Alyssa, you really had no idea what was going to hit you with that one, but... Hey, we're here today. We're living life. <laughs> Number two is stay up late and watch a meteor shower with people I care about. I have done this, and I can't really like recall when or why or how it happened, but I've definitely seen quite a few meteor showers. Number three, scream at the top of my lungs for no reason at all. Yeah, I've done this. Why did I want to do that? I was really shy back then, and um, I guess I just had a lot of feelings. <sighs> Number four, host a tea party. Definitely did that. Number five, be in an art gallery showing. They've done this just not to a major extent. I think I had a few pieces in at least one show. Number six, send a message in a bottle. I haven't done that. Number seven was go to art school and later on I changed it to get a degree in art and theater. I went to Southern Oregon University and I got my degree in a BFA in acting this December. I did it, holy shit. I didn't think I was gonna graduate high school, so that was like a big one. Number eight is take more pictures of everyday moments and don't be afraid to, which I think I've done a pretty good job of. I think as I've gotten older, I've lost a lot of inhibitions. Number nine, land an acting role that's crazy and unexpected of me. I think I definitely, my cat's gonna join in on this. I knew this was gonna happen eventually. I think I've definitely done this. I think I've really pushed my boundaries of like who I am as an actress and the kind of roles I get because I typically read pretty young, like ingenuity, and I definitely fought against that stereotype with a lot of different things that I've done and I'm pretty damn proud of myself for that. Number 10 is go to the Harry Potter theme park and I can't believe I still haven't fucking gone. One day. 11. Go on a road trip across the states and Canada, and I sort of have done this. I took a really big road trip when I was 26. I went all the way from the tip of Washington all the way down to LA alone for the most part. I kind of had some stops in between where I saw friends, but it was an incredible experience and I really, really want to do it again sometime. You know, I love road trips. I really miss my car. I haven't had it for a while. Kuna, you are so... She is so needy. You want to be the star of this? It's a little thing. Oh, she's annoying. Okay, number 12, acquire an old car with lots of personality. And then 13 is, and paint it. Because I was a weird kid, and I just, like, wanted to paint everything. 
everything. <laughs> I have not done this. No, I still have the same car that I had when I was 18. 17? 17. And number 14, direct a play. And I did do this. I did this around the months of August to October of this last year. I directed Robopocalypse the Musical with my little puppet company, Puppeteers for Fears. Yeah, I did do that. Number 15, take voice lessons. Yep. Yeah. I've done it. I went to acting school. Like, I took a lot of voice lessons. 16, model for a photo shoot. I did this by the time the video came out, but I've definitely modeled for a lot of photo shoots since then. 17, have a garden. I think I have a black thumb because I feel like every garden I ever have just dies and it's really sad, but I have had quite a few gardens, so check that one off. 18, 18 was go to Burning Man, which I did do. Ah, uh, I want to go back. I was 22, I was going through a really, really, really bad rough patch, and I went with one of my best friends, and I don't even know how to explain it, except that it feels like a different world, and it's insane, and I wasn't even on drugs most of the time, so go. Go if you can. It's amazing. 19, give strangers cookies and baked goods. I don't think I've done this. 20s, take a cooking class. I don't think I've done this. Uh... Oh, right? I might have. I'm not really entirely sure. 21 is paint on public property, which I definitely have done. And, um, uh, 22 is smash something, and I had done this by the video, and I talk about smashing a friend's webcam. Fun fact, I had a really big crush on that friend, but I have smashed other things since, and we'll just leave it at that. 23, throw a surprise party. I haven't done this, like, officially. I have helped with surprise parties. I'm a very good party planner. But I don't think I've done it by myself. So kind of half. 24, help plan a wedding. I really like planning things, guys. I don't know if you can tell. I was a maid of honor for a friend's wedding, and I... No, I didn't really help plan. But that's okay. I mean, there's always the future. Maybe it'll be my own wedding. <laughs> but maybe. 25 is build a tree house. My dream is to live in trees. I miss trees. Chicago's a whole different world. I will do it one day. I will. 26, get a tattoo. I have four tattoos, actually. This little guy, one on my side, I have one on my leg, I have one on my foot, and I have many plans to get many more tattoos. I like them. 27 is take a road trip to Nevada, and I've done it, so cool. <laughs> 28 is go to a masquerade ball, <laughs> and I haven't done it yet, I don't think. No? No. I've done it in plays. I, I was in a mask in a play. 29 is stay up all night and watch the sunrise. I did this very shortly after the video was taken. It was a pretty beautiful time in my life. 30, go to Disney World again. Again, I have not done this. I'm broke. I'm a college student. I went once with my family when I was about 14 or 15, and uh, it was amazing. But I was also a really angsty teenager who didn't want to be around my family 24-7. So it'd be nice to go as an adult. 31 is write a book. And this is kind of a big one as well. I do really want to write a memoir at some point in my life. I'm in the middle of putting together a poetry book of mine, but uh, self-publishing is so hard and I don't know what I'm doing. 32 is ride an elephant. I haven't done that. 33 is go dog sledding, which I also haven't done. Shit. 34 is cute because it was make a vlog, so I crossed that off the list when I made my previous one. 35 is find out my real heritage. I really want to do a 23andMe eventually to find out that. 36 is see a movie at a drive-in theater. I did do this a few months after I made the video. 37, wrap Christmas lights over the trees in my backyard. Yeah, I've, I've done that. 38, get my teeth professionally whitened. Ah, this is something I still want to do. My teeth are something I'm a little like 
self-conscious about. 39 is play apples to apples until all the cards run out. I had such a simple little life. I did it right before leaving the Sacramento area to go down to LA to work at Disneyland when I was about 20 and all my friends got together and it was this big party and it was really cute. That was before Cards Against Humanity came out and when that came out, you know, a whole different deal. 40 is dance without any inhibitions. <laughs> I was so shy and small and ah oh god, yes I've done that, fuck yeah. 41 is acquire a lawn flamingo. <laughs> Apparently I did it because I marked down that I did this on June 17th, 2011. 42 is stay at a hotel on New Year's. New Year's is my favorite holiday. And I did this, uh, I think, I believe it was 2017 going into 2018. I we went on a little road trip with three of my friends. We all went to San Francisco together for a few days and stayed at a hotel and partied downtown. And it was the best, craziest, weepiest New Year's I've ever had. I had a great time. I want to do more fun things like that in my future. 43 is join a book club. Haven't done that. I do not read as much as I wish I did. 44 was exercise more. I don't really know how to gauge that. Yes. I'm not exercising enough right now, but like... 45, have a meaningful conversation with a stranger. Yeah, you get drunk at a party. It happens. 46 was get a palm reading done. And I don't know whether or not I 1000% believe it, but I think it's something to keep in mind. 47 is... Be part of an Improv Everywhere shenanigan. Improv Everywhere, if I recall, was this weird theater group who got kind of famous online for doing flash mob style things. But I thought they were pretty funny and I think I just wanted to be part of a community. I haven't done this. I don't care. 48 was make 1,000 paper cranes, which I did do. Oh my god. 49 was make a thousand paper stars because I couldn't just stop at cranes. And no, I didn't do it because it was a waste of time and my life got busy. 50 is make an igloo. <laughs> Don't even know how you do that. 51 is buy the perfect red come on Eileen dress. The infamous 80s one hit wonder. <laughs> But I actually did buy the perfect red come on Eileen dress. I gotta show it. It's, I got this when I was pretty young, actually. I've had it for years and years and years, but it's this gorgeous red velvet, which I deemed the perfect come on Eileen red dress. It's got this like nice slit in the back. I don't wear a bra with it. I love it so much. 53 is buy a pair of old roller skates. I can't roller skate. No. 53 was move out. Pretty cute. I did do this by the time I had filmed the video. And I have, I have moved so many times. I think that was just a motivation to get out of my parents' house at the time, but yeah. I did it. 53 is so a liner on my blank blank, which is a blanket that I've had since I was born that my mom gave to me that she had since high school. He's still here! He's still alive and kicking! I have not done this. Um, I keep just sewing and re-sewing and it's like a mess actually, but you know, at this point, it's okay. 55, ride a train. Have done this. 56 was join some sort of traveling troupe. I have been in a puppet company for the last three years. I just left them when I moved to Chicago. And we've toured twice. First time we went to Portland in Seattle. The second time we went to Sacramento, LA, random bookstore in San Francisco. We had a pit stop in Yosemite, Boise, Idaho, the Oregon coast. I love touring. I love every second of it. That's 
pretty much what I want to do with my life is do theater touring. It's hard as hell. I was smashed in a van with nine other people for hours on end in the hot, hot, hot middle of summer on nowhere highways, but it was so worth it. Ah, uh, memories. 57, because we're going to be really dramatic for a second, is share my secret. I don't really feel like I am that much of a secretive person. I think I was just a very closed up person at the time and I wanted something like big and life changing to pull me out of it. 58 is go to a renaissance fair. I did do this once. 59 is cosplay. I guess technically I have. I was definitely Jareth from Labyrinth this last Halloween. But this is reminding me that I really, really, really wanted to cosplay as Cardcaptor Sakura. Like one of my favorite animes and mangas of all time. 60 is make something huge out of styrofoam. I have no idea what I wanted to do. What? <laughs> no? I haven't done that. I've made a lot of things, but I don't think I've made something huge, specifically out of styrofoam, young Alyssa. Okay. 61 was make a giant blanket fort, and I did do this about a month after I had filmed the video. I, I lived with two of my best friends, and we just made this huge ass thing. It was pretty, it was pretty tight. Like, <laughs> 10 out of 10 would do again. 62 is catch fireflies, and I have never actually lived in a place where fireflies have been around. 63 is have a picnic on a roof. I don't know if I've had a legit picnic, but I have drank a lot of wine on the roof and then puked it up all night later. 64 is learn to play at least three instruments. Man, I Mm, I have not done this, but this would be cool to do at some point. I'd be down to learn some instruments when I have free time, if I ever have free time. Pff, I don't know. I really want to play the accordion, actually. I was in a show where I, like, messed around with the accordion. I didn't really know what I was doing, but I played it. I still put that under my special skills on my resume. <laughs> that was, like, eight years ago. I'd like to do it again, though, for sure. That piano... Maybe ukulele because I'm white girl trash. 65 is <laughs> throw darts at balloons filled with paint. <laughs> no! Ah, <laughs> oh, my wine is getting to me. 66 is literally roll around in paint. Ooh. <laughs> no, I haven't done this. 67, make truffles. Um, I really love cooking. It's one of my passions. But... I can't really say I've done it. 68 is see the northern lights. That's still on my list today. 69 is stand behind a waterfall. And I did this when I was on my road trip. I went to just outside of Salem, Oregon. Well, Silver Falls State Park. I saw 10 different waterfalls. I think I walked behind quite a few of them. And it's amazing. I love waterfalls. 70 is take a picture every day for a year. I haven't done this. I don't have enough self-discipline, honestly. 71 is have a cake bite, which I did do a few months after that video was taken. It was gross. I don't want to do it again. It gets like in your hair. Everything is caked with frosting. Caked. caked. Oh. Yeah. 72 is make a latte foam design. Uh, yeah, I know how to do that. I think I just thought it was an interesting skill. I should put that on my resume. Take off the accordion, put latte foam design artist. 73, knit or crochet a creature. I went over this in the video. I did do this. I made little Totoro's. I've made a few things since. 74, see a Cirque du Soleil show. I can't believe I still haven't done this. I need to do this. Like yesterday. 75 is leave post-it notes everywhere. I have no idea what that was about. I use post-it notes a lot. Mm. 76, spend an entire day putting googly eyes on everything. Yeah, oh God. Uh, 
No, I haven't. <laughs> I was so young. I was so young. Oh my god. Like 77, walk around and explore the Auburn Canyon. And this is in Auburn, California. I think that was another like small little thing I could do for myself and the time of need I was in. Yeah, I've done that. Totally. 78. Go geocaching. I literally don't even remember what geocaching is. 79. Crack open a geode. I've done that. Yeah. 80 was learn to say hello in 25 different languages. No. No, I didn't. 81 is have a sleepover on a trampoline. That seems pretty uncomfortable. I remember definitely I've gotten drunk on a trampoline in the middle of the night, and I don't think I fell asleep. But it wasn't the greatest of times, you know? 82 is have some fancy wine and have a picnic outdoors in the middle of the night. I've done this. Oh my god, I can't believe this was on my list because I think I've done this several times in Ashland with friends. 83 is take roller skating lessons. Again, I don't roller skate. 84, play Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, I've done it. I, I would sometimes get a little too tipsy and I would kind of mess around a little too much. 85 is write and send letters to at least 10 different people. I've written letters. 86 is watch every movie that has won Best Picture. I'm not a big movie person, honestly. I think this is on the list because of that. Uh, that'd be a cool thing to do one day. I'd be down to do it. It would take a lot of time. I'd have to be very persistent. 87, sing karaoke in a bar. That's like one of my favorite things to do ever. I did it so much in Ashland. I haven't done it in a few months, actually. I haven't done it since I moved to Chicago. 88, see an eclipse. Yes, have done that. 89, go wine tasting for a day. Have done that several times. 90, walk through a corn maze. Did it? Uh, mm, don't really want to do it again. It was very annoying and frustrating, and I got lost 10 different times. 91 is make candles. I haven't done that. No, that'd be cool to do. I want to do that. 92, go to a chiropractor because my back was fucked up even then. When I was 19 years old, I did go to a chiropractor. I did, and it was incredible. 93, learn glass blowing. Oh, these are getting more interesting the further we go down. Oh, I really want to do that. 94, learn to meditate. Yeah, I've done meditation. I definitely dabble in a lot of mindfulness meditation when I'm feeling really stressed out or anxious, and it's helped a lot. 95 is be a voice actor for something. Ooh, yeah, that's something I still want to do. That's something I haven't done. I think I have a pretty unique voice. And I do voice work stuff with puppets too. So that would be so cool to do. 96, stay at a really fancy spa resort. Damn, that sounds great. No, I haven't done it. 97, go backpacking. No, I know, I know, I don't. I love camping. I love being outdoors. I love just exploring nature and hiking. I don't think I could ever go backpacking though. I can't pee in the forest. I just can't. I just, it's, it's just like actually physically impossible for me and to like do all of it in the woods. I've taken day trips. I've done camping. There have always been, you know, porta potties nearby. I can handle that. I can't pee in the I'm sorry. I'm just not. That needs to get off of this list because that's not happening. 98. Host a fancy dinner party for a holiday. I love dinner parties. I throw them all the time. 99. Go mushroom hunting. Haven't done that. I think I would probably need a professional in order to do that. 100. Go on a hot air balloon ride. I would do it. I hear it's really dangerous. I would probably still do it. Yeah, so that is my bucket list I made when I was 19-ish years old. I am now 28. I'm turning 29 in October. I guess it really did put a lot of things in perspective for me. I am having like a bit of a slump right now and a bit of like, what am I doing? Where am I? Kind of, you know, typical moments in life. And it kind of helped me realize that I have done quite a lot.
I think it's a really good reflection on like the kind of life I've lived since then and it shows a lot of growth in me and who I am as a human being. But I still really want to go to the Harry Potter theme park. I'll do it. But yeah, that's it for now. And hopefully it provides some sort of inspiration because I know it did with me. So, cheers.